Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing a WWE uh, recap kind of well, discussion. Oh, we're just doing our podcast. Yes, we're just yes, kind yes, of yes, bullshitting yes. about WWE. Yes, that's, yeah. And it's terrible state. Well, you know. At least on Monday nights, that is. Yeah, Raw's been particularly bad. Yeah. And, uh, well, so. you know, I mean, last week you, you had to choose things over wrestling. Well, it was very easy. But I didn't really have a choice anyway, so. You mean there's more important things in life? And then uh, WWE wrestling? Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, you didn't want to talk about the uh, second lowest rated Raw of history? Oh, yeah, that was right. Yeah. They uh, put out the numbers on that one. Yeah, I think the lowest <sighs> was the Hillary and Trump debate. It happened on a Monday night against some other big well, thing going on yeah it was probably monday night football yes yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, think, yeah football i think i yes, remember that you're right so so yeah um rose, uh, whoa, whoa, rose whoa, 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 yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's take a look at money in the bank for a second uh-huh taking away both money in the bank ladder matches mm -hmm. we basically have backlash on a card as the card no roman's fighting gender now and that's better than samoa joe no, versus it's, gender it's not Okay, all right. So, so which match do you think is going to be worse on the card? Uh, I, I got options for you. Okay, I was gonna say what you... big cast versus Daniel Bryan. Again. It's not going to be good. Again, Sami Zayn versus Bobby Lashley, or Jinder versus Roman. Um, you mean are In you terms... looking for quality or crowd reaction? Crowd reaction. Crowd reaction is obviously gonna be Jinder. Roman versus Jinder. <laughs> well, they're in Chicago, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Roman's gonna get booed no matter what. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Um, the, in, in terms of quality, there's a very, very good chance that Bobby Lashley versus Sami Zayn is probably going to be the worst yep. of the matches. Um, but yeah, the fans aren't going to be receptive to big cast versus Daniel Bryan. Mm. Like Daniel Bryan, obviously, they cheered, but the... They were chanting for Enzo at a house show again. I believe it. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Fucking idiots. Um, women, both matches are... Uh, Oh, what? you mean the? Oh, you mean the? <clears throat> Both title matches, very. Uh, oh, poor. Very. I don't know what the hell's gonna happen with the Raw title match. I feel like it's gonna be either a shit show or it's gonna be just all right. Um, like wow, they got through that all right. Yeah, because they kind of made a bad <clears throat> choice in having Ronda's title match be against Nia, well, especially this, so early. Th it's just been terrible. Just oh, the whole. Yeah. Everything, and this Monday was no different. Yeah. The. The booking of this is extremely strange, and I mean, it's not getting any clearer we, or better. We went into it with an odd way of having the match come to be. And the funny thing is I was fine with you that. You were right with that, yes, yeah. I remember talking yeah, about that. But th they haven't done anything that makes any sense. And then we kind of had it established that, okay, Nia was going to be the heel mm -hmm. and Ronda was going to be the face. Which and then this past be. week... Natalia has a match with Nia Jax. Natalia gets hurt. Yeah. And then Nia's trying to be the good guy and be like, oh, are you okay? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. And then Ronda's like, get out of here. Yeah. Because she, go back... she blamed Nia for the right. injury. Right. And then you go backstage and it's the same crap. And Natalia ends up walking away from both of them. And... Yeah. Uh, it's funny because it's almost as if it was like an established team where one kind of broke off to right. have success. And now one of the other ones wants the title and mm. the the third natalia is like it caught in the middle but, but that's not, not how established it, yeah, right, at right. all exactly it's almost like the enzo alexa naya thing kind of if, if yeah. you pull it away you yeah. know if 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 that whole thing happened where the naya and alexa were friends then all of a sudden enzo comes in and then you get that yeah that, that would kind of make thing. sense right yeah and uh but yeah no the, just the women's the quality of booking on Raw compared to SmackDown with the women lately is... The uh, entire show. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm just breaking it down. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. Because they they literally must have just swapped writers. That's the yeah. only thing that... It keeps on coming down to that. Because... And it's a superstar shakeup again. Because yeah. um, <sighs> while the SmackDown uh, women's title match isn't like the... Best, right, right. The both champions. Direction. Right, absolutely. Yeah. And but you're having B storylines and things like that mm -hmm. on Raw. What, what's the B storyline? We did have in the bank. Well, that's it. yeah, but I mean outside of that. Yeah, and can, well, that's the thing though, because it's not building towards anything. Because it's money in the bank's over. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Whereas SmackDown, they're trying to 
Like, they're trying to set up a feud between Becky and Charlotte, kind of. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised it's, if that comes from it. it, it it's a possibility. I mean, um, from what we saw last night, which you didn't watch, yeah. so... Sorry. Working is not more important than wrestling. I'm oh, telling sorry. you, man. Uh, sorry. Um, no, but... Uh, yeah. It, it's mind-boggling. Mm. And then the booking for Monday night with that six-woman tag match. Yeah, yeah. So that, it's... That didn't make any sense. What? Alexa, Sasha, and Ember yes. versus the Riot Squad, which was ridiculous in yes. its own. Because Alexa comes out... And usually, if they don't announce stuff, I go, okay, well, try to try to piece it together just to see if I'm right. So I'm like, what is it going to be? Alexa, Mickey, and maybe Ruby against Sasha, Bailey, and Ember? And then uh, Sasha comes mm -hmm. after Alexa. I'm like, something's wrong here. I mean, we've seen it before where they did mismatch the entrance, but... Oh, yeah, that is true. Yeah. That has happened before. But no, that wasn't the case. Nope. Was... Um so alexa kind of fakes an injury mm -hmm. and she copied natalia from earlier yeah um, bailey comes in to make the save because the face were getting their asses kicked yes, they were getting handed she away. randomly gets a tag in and wins the match yeah and the referee like, lets her tag in and then counts the pinfall all right so basically what you're saying here is that the wrestlers don't know the rules or what's going the on referees don't know the rules. well that too but why would if you know that you can't be in a match that you're not scheduled to be in. Um, it's a good point. I don't but, know. All right, so let's backtrack to earlier in the evening mm -hmm. when Kurt Hawkins was wrestling a jobber. This this might be the highlight of the night. But Baron Corbin comes out mm -hmm. and knows what he's doing to intentionally get yes. him disqualified. He knows the rules. He but knows the rules. But that could be because of his new position. That's true. That's the reason why he knows what the rules are. I guess that's true. Uh, so apparently... Well, like you said, Baron Corbin decided to, because uh, Hawkins like guaranteed, guaranteed that he was going to break his streak at 199 losses mm -hmm. against. Uh, yeah, what the hell is his James name? James Harden. Harden. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. know the last name was Harden. I yeah. can't remember what his first yeah. name is. I think it's James. Because it's what a player on the uh, the Rockets. Rockets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is very. Funny. Oh, which speaking of which, I must say that WWE must be very happy with the Texas crowd because they seem to boo the heels and cheer the faces. Even Roman was getting cheers when he came out. He, yeah, he had a very good reception. Yeah. but he, on SmackDown the crowd was good as well, and they were in Corpus Christi, mm -hmm. which is a surprise because usually that's a bad crowd. Oh, I don't know. Yeah um so but it was really funny they did that try to draw heat um on hawkins for whatever reason mm -hmm. no, one, no one really cares about him the only nah. thing he has is well, that he said streak. if if he ended the streak tonight everybody would get tacos and yes. he had a table of tacos mm -hmm. although um, i don't think that would have fit everybody <laughs> it was like 50 tacos maybe yeah um so they're having a match and it looks like hawkins might actually win and then all of a sudden corbin comes down jumps in the ring and then he attacks um the jobber and mm -hmm. then all of a sudden jobber wins because from disqualification and Kurt yep. hawkins loses yet again that's it <clears throat> it was so funny and then so. corbin just leaves mm -hmm. and then, yeah <laughs> but then like you said uh what was it earlier in the evening we found no this out? was directly oh afterwards. right after right yes yeah. yes yes that uh baron corbin apparently had a letter from stephanie mcmahon mm -hmm. stating that he's now gonna be the constable yes of Monday Night Raw, basically, because Stephanie won't be there, and they need some sort of, uh, I guess, leadership, right? Mm -hmm. That's funny. I like it. Which, it's a good role for... Corbin. Corbin, because A, he's not doing anything besides beating up the jobbers of Monday Night Raw. Yeah, I was going to say, I'd rather him do this than just fight No Way Jose and every week. there's been talk that it could be Kurt Angle's going to bring have Jason Jordan come back to feud with Baron Corbin. I don't really care about that, though. Oh, it's not going to be good, but okay. I'm just saying. It's... Yeah, it doesn't really sound no. like a good thing. No, but I mean, but it's, it it's would... a way to bring Jason Jordan back. I prefer if they just have his real son, Chad Gable, do it. That's what I would prefer. But that's not how things work. I man. know, I know. Logical, you thinking yeah. again. Don't do that. No, I'm hoping there's a difference. I guess so. It's a big difference. So you're getting desperate is what you're saying. Pretty much. Um, So... We, we don't care about Bobby Roode anymore, right? He's uh, I come. His entire main roster run has been bland and it's, boring. Yeah, and then this 
I mean, it, it looked like he kind of was hinting about doing any everything he could in his power to beat Braun, and then it became a comedy act. Yep. Which Braun would... destroyed a ladder with his hands. Mm-hmm. So even though that is obviously a gimmicked ladder, that's still pretty... It was a good spot. Yeah, it's an interesting but thing to the see. the fact that Bobby Roode ran under... He had Strowman chasing him because he had a ladder set up between the guardrail and the, the ring, yeah. and he was chasing him around, hoping that... Braun would, would run into run it. Into it yeah. or, and Bobby was Maybe on the other side. Maybe he'll lift up and throw him into yeah. it. Yeah, Bobby was on the other side of the ladder dancing, ah, you can't get me. And then he breaks the ladder. Ah, it was it was a fine spot, but yeah. overall it was just it was just crap. It was them going, all right, we got to kill more time between now and Money yep. in the Bank. Pretty much. Because um, later on they announced that there's going to be a, a triple, not a triple threat, a fatal four-way mm-hmm. uh, between... The it's two the, of them, and then uh, Owens and um, Balor. And then the women as well, right? Mm-hmm. I thought they talked about a fatal four with the women. I could be wrong. You might be right. I don't remember yeah, it. I don't it, remember. Sound, it sounds like something they did, mm-hmm. but I don't I don't actually remember yep. seeing it. Uh, <clears throat> we had the tag team battle royal. Yes, that was great. I thought that was good, too. Um, the way they did it. Not necessarily... Yes, no, but I mean, there was no need for Ziggler and McIntyre to be included in it. I I like what they should have done is that then this the, they could still do it later on when mm-hmm. they finally decide to split them up, have that exact thing happen, and just have um, McIntyre destroy Ziggler, Ziggler. from getting because that would be great. That would be perfect. that would have been fun. Yeah, it yeah, would have been great. That for, would have made more sense. It yeah, would have, it would have allowed you to pick who you wanted to win the battle royal and mm-hmm. at the same time make a fe- like give a reason behind a feud no that's true so, uh, that, that yeah that would have been good so i'm glad they didn't do it yet because if they did that it probably wouldn't like lead to anything mm-hmm. so but it was it was good um they eliminated the two strongest teams ish um right away mm-hmm. with uh, mcintyre and ziggler and surprisingly titus worldwide that <laughs> It's. It, no, I know it sounds scary, but it's true. They, they're, they're, the, they're the second of the teams in there. They're probably the second most formidable team. I guess, yeah, for the main roster, anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm talking about on the Raw uh, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Because there was also, you had the Fashion Police, you had um, the Ascension, mm-hmm. the, the B-Team, and the Revival. Yeah. The Revival are just absolutely They're done. Yeah. They're, they're, unless they just keeps cycling tag teams onto smackdown and giving them title shots well i was gonna say it's probably what's going to happen is eventually at some point they'll go to smackdown and that's when they'll start Mm -hmm. to thrive well because smackdown is the wrestling show even though the guy that's been constantly putting on the best wrestling matches is on raw yeah that's funny Mm -hmm. um actually we haven't spoken anything at all about that which is funny because that's how the show well i was gonna i was gonna get to that in a minute um but fine, I guess we'll talk about well, that now. No, no, no. Well, I was going to say, and just uh, and the B team won the... Oh, yeah, right. They won the match. Battle we kind of figured that was going to happen. <clears throat> we'll be facing Matt and Bray. Yeah, because what did Heath Slater have? Oh, oh yeah, Dallas the, on his shoulder. Yeah. And he's twi- and that's, turned that's, him around and knocked Rhino off the apron. That's out. part of the reason why I thought it was good because of the way they did it. Oh, yeah, it. no, they no, no. Heath no, it was, technically it was fine. eliminate um, Rhino. Rhino. So... Because the the B team's whole story has been like, yeah. well, when they it, were losers as they, when they were just Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel, but now that they're the B team, yeah. So it's a lot of them like having fluke victories. Mm-hmm. So having Heath Slater eliminate Rhino essentially is very interesting. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we all knew it was going to be the mm-hmm. B team versus yeah, because yeah, yeah. the, well, the only ones who've been winning matches right. in the tag team division. <laughs> yeah. So it's it funny, make the most sense. Um, but no, all right, so, yeah, like you were saying, we haven't talked about Rollins at all. So, how do you feel about these opening segments where we have a promo happen and then a match happen? Um, I don't like the fact that they say they're in, impromptu yeah. matches because it's stupid. Like, obviously, that's... Insulting your intelligence a little yeah. bit. <laughs> um, if what they did was, like, announce when they open the show mm-hmm. that a match is going to happen... And let's say Elias opens it Mm -hmm. and talks trash about Seth Rollins. Yeah. Because he didn't even get to say anything, right? He was just in the ring with the guitar. 
Elias? Yeah, or he had to no, do this whole thing. Like I don't, minutes I don't, before I don't anything remember. Happened. Well, th- that's the problem. The whole segment took almost 40 minutes. Mm-hmm. I was thinking it was going to be exactly the same as two weeks ago. Yeah. Where, um, where they had the match between Roman and Owens, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. Jinder came. attacked, right. and then Rollins Well, no, came. we were getting it at the, the pay-per-view. No, I'm just saying, I, I was thinking it was going to be the same as oh, okay. Then I remembered that, that it opened it, with a mm-hmm. singles match Fair and then led into a yeah. tag team match. Uh, um, but yeah, I, I just feel like they take entirely too much time. And if you're not into the segment, you're... You miss almost an hour of the show. Right, and you're kind of in that state where you're like, oh, I don't really care about this anymore. I had a lot of trouble paying attention and like staying focused at like the 930 mark. Yeah. Just because I just didn't get drawn in D- yeah. during the... Right, and that's what it's supposed to be. Well, if you, you know, made a big match to open the show, then that's going to be keep you going until you get that match mm-hmm. in the main event or something like that. They don't do that. Half the time, we don't even know what the main event is. Yeah, I don't understand why they do that now. And... Well, I guess it's just because maybe they know the ratings are going to drop off in the third hour. I guess that's it, true. It's every night. Um, yeah, because they, like you said, they they pre- this is a pretty new occurrence mm-hmm. where they do the, like, I, yeah. they did it sporadically, but now it's like an it's every, every. Yeah, and it happened on SmackDown this week, too. Yeah, because normally what they'll do is they'll just have, they'll set up the main event, which makes a lot more sense. Right. Because uh, it gives yeah, everybody you open time strong, you close strong. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just been so stale. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, referees being dumb because the chair ended up in the ring. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, Elias. Yeah. Cause this was Rollins. Elias and Jinder versus Roman and Seth. Yeah. So, and like you had mentioned, um, the shield, I guess the two representatives had mm-hmm. good reactions. Obviously yeah. Seth well, is Seth always going the, to the, probably the best reaction. Um, and Roman was even mm-hmm. getting cheered. Obviously Jinder and Elias were getting booed. Elias, yeah. not so much, because the fans yeah. seem to be behind him 50-50. Once he says something, then they get angry. Oh, yeah, but, you know, that's him doing his job. That's true. Um, so That is true. But it, it's it's all pretty much the same as it was yeah. a couple weeks ago, um, except for the heels one this time. <laughs> and I, I feel like, I don't know, it's just, when was Backlash? Uh, late April. Was it late April? No, it was late May. Was it late? No, no or maybe it was early May. I don't May. remember. Early May, maybe? Yeah. Mid May? I don't know. I just feel like. <sighs> Too I'm... long in between well, the pay per views. That and the it, it's stories. just hard to keep me interested in a feud going on. Mm. I, I don't know. Because, like, I feel like they do too many matches with people involved. Like, Jinder and Roman. How many times have we seen them in the ring together? A lot. Yeah, exactly. And then we're going to get a one-on-one match. It's probably not even going to be the last match. Oh, you mean between yeah. the two? Probably yeah. not, which doesn't make any sense. No. Um, uh, May 6th. Yeah, so it was early in May. So it was, yeah, it was a month, over um, a month ago. Yeah, well, the, it's the a month biggest, today. The biggest problem is the fact, especially with this pay-per-view, is that you needed to set up the matches early. But they set it up too or almost, like... <laughs> Well, yeah, but I think they wanted to have it secure. Yeah, but I mean, you don't need to... Well, with the money in the bank, you don't really need to build anything on the match, you know? It's just yeah, everybody I, competing I, for I the same thing. That's all it is, is competition. Mm-hmm. There's literally no, nothing to gain outside of the briefcase. Yeah, but uh, they don't see it that way. Yeah, I guess. Um, and this kind of actually goes back to the... We were refer- referenced this probably two weeks ago, I'd imagine. Mm-hmm. With uh, the build to the Money in the Bank match that Dean Ambrose ended up winning, yeah. like just they they told such a good story leading up to the match that it really didn't matter who won. No, so that's kind of what they're hoping on is that they can have an interesting mm. build. Right. This way, even if they feel like putting it on or giving the briefcase to someone who wouldn't necessarily be like what the fans want or mm-hmm. what would make a whole lot of sense, at least you got a good story coming. In. Right, right, the right. Match. Yeah. <clears throat> so I mean, the main event we got Kevin Owens versus Finn Balor. Yes, the other two members uh-huh. of the match. Um, don't even get a full match here. <laughs> well, yeah, it's thrown out. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, also, so, it wasn't as interesting as I would have. Oh, uh, they seem to slow it down a lot. Yeah, and Owens does that sometimes, where he likes to. Yeah, I mean, you got to think it is a, a TV match, you know. 
It's true. Um, because there is a qual usually a quality difference between pay-per-view matches and the TV matches. Um, or network specials, some, right? Sometimes. There, I feel like are... the main events are never as good oh, as... Oh, no, 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 no. Although SmackDown usually has the big guys in the main event. Yeah, but um, for the most part, Raw has been pretty lacking. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I did I did like not the end of the match, but like the end of like the segment mm. where uh, Kevin Owens grabs a ladder, he goes to climb up of it or up it, and he goes like all the way up, and he's he like, gets gonna scared. Go, yeah, <laughs> gonna go for a frog splash, but it's like no, it's too high, so mm. he goes down a little bit. He goes for it again. It's like, oh, no, it's too too high still. And then as he's coming down the third time, Finn Balor uh, gets up and rips him down, and then he ends up going pretty pretty high up on the ladder, yeah. hit him with the coup de grace. Um, and I liked how they did that. And yeah. for some reason, Finn went up and grabbed the yeah. briefcase. I, I mean, we saw Joe do it last week on SmackDown. I mean, are we just going to count these two out of uh, winning it? Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really think that Balor had much of a... I, I don't know if you can really consider it a shot. A contender? I, yeah. I, because he doesn't need it. Because how, how is Finn Balor with the briefcase going to be better off than Finn Balor without the briefcase? Because yeah. if he has the briefcase, he's not going to be in a title feud, period. That's true. It's It won't happen because mm-hmm. they don't do that. Um so at the very least, if for some reason they decide they want to keep the IC title on Seth Rollins mm-hmm. long term, yeah, Finn's probably going to be the next to take it off him. Yeah. yeah. No, no, oh. no, no. I meant for Lesnar. Oh, Finn. Oh, okay. That match will yeah, happen yeah, yeah. eventually, especially as Lesnar's going to keep the title for a while. Um, I guess they said is what next defense will be at SummerSlam. Yeah, supposedly. Mm-hmm. There's no guarantee, but that's what they're reporting on. I think. Yeah. Is he going to be at the MSG show? It's probably possible, not. But probably not. The Undertaker was just added yeah. to the show. Um, Did you hear about all uh, in two? No, I wasn't going to talk about that. Oh. The AAA, um, the wrestling promotion in Mexico, uh-huh. they apparently have a date scheduled with MSG. Uh-huh. I mean, WWE I think can cancel it because they technically have first rights, uh-huh. but I guess MSG is kind of pissed at WWE because For not having anything besides one. How show? Well, I think it's next year with WrestleMania being at. Uh, oh, they probably wanted. They wanted. Th- they wanted. Uh, yeah, all the. And okay. The, that all that. Sense, but they're all those probably things. going to the Barclay Center. I'd imagine. Uh, yes, they are. Mm-hmm. So it was that confirmed that they're doing. I believe it was confirmed, but yeah, yeah, that so that would be interesting. Such a stupid relationship that they have. Yeah. But yeah, no, I did hear the rumors about All In Two as well. Supposedly going to um, be at the Garden. But I mean, if. AAA does, in fact, because they want to join up with Impact and Lucha, oh. and I'm sure some other promotions as well. Um, but I think I'd consider going to that. Mm-hmm. It's a nice train ride. That's it. Oh, yeah, it's definitely nice and not simple. A, it's not a bad yeah. commute. It's not like getting to the Barclay Center where you Ew. have to get on another train mm-hmm. and then probably walk a little bit. And yeah, so but that was more or less because I no interest in going to the house show in July. Oh, the, the one yeah. in MSG. Yeah, that's the only shows they've had. There. I know. They haven't had a Raw or SmackDown yeah. there but, in uh, quite some time. It's very expensive to run it there as well. Yeah, but still, you know, it's something they've been doing mm-hmm. forever. So. But, yeah, no, I, I don't understand why they wouldn't have gone out of MSG if it, you know, meant that much to them. You mean the WrestleMania stuff? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that was stupid. But I think they really like the, the Barclay Center. Yeah. I, it's probably more they like the deal that they get with the Barclay Center. Probably. So And people keep showing up for SummerSlam and things like that, so there's no reason to Yeah. Not do I, I would it. imagine if like the first year the attendance was really bad, then they might have mm-hmm. decided not to. It's not an Islanders game. That's true. <laughs> or a Nets game. That too. Although I'm sure the Nets draw better than the Islanders do. Uh, well, yeah, I guess that's it's true. Not saying much. But... No. Um did you hear a rumor? I guess there was something going on with uh, Shawn Michaels saying never say never and having a one last match. Yeah, and but, then everyone assumes that he's going to be with AJ. Yeah, or Daniel Bryan. Or that Daniel was Bryan. The other one. But the thing is, that was an option for a long time. WrestleMania 33, it was on the table. No, no, no. Oh. I'm talking about Dan Bryan. Mm. Oh, okay. Because Daniel Bryan was he's been around for a while. That's and true. Shawn Michaels retired before I think he showed up. Mm-hmm. But if, you know. Five years yeah, ago. it's a little different now. Yeah. Absolutely. Five years ago, if he really wanted to, he mm-hmm. could have. 
Whereas now it's more of a, like he's you know, five years a yeah. long time. That's especially true. Especially for a 50 plus year old man. Um, Speaking yeah. of Daniel Bryan, I have a funny story for you. Sure. So a couple weeks ago, I was talking to Julian mm-hmm. and he was like, do you know who this Daniel Bryan guy is? The I one said, that looks like me? Yeah. Did you hear about this story? <laughs> no. Or no? It just okay. sounds funny. Yeah. So he's like, I, I was at, I'm working on a job at this restaurant and the cook comes up to me and goes, oh, Daniel Bryan, you, you look like oh, him. Yeah. Yes, yes. Really? So, so yesterday <laughs> he calls me up and he's like, did I ask you about the Daniel Bryan thing? And I said, yeah. He's like, well, I went back to the restaurant today, and four cooks come out from the back going, yes, 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 when they saw me. I was dying. I was like, oh, my God. That's great. He's like, do I really look like him? I was like, well, you do kind both of. look homeless, so, yeah, you know. Kind of. Oh, uh, I got a good kick out of that. Did you show him a picture of Daniel Bryan? He didn't have any interest in it. Okay. <laughs> and Everybody he called just... him Daniel O'Brien. It was pretty funny. It was oh, good. It doesn't know. No, it was good, though. It was good. So if I text him, yes, yes. I don't know. He didn't know what the yes chant meant. He, he just saw them putting their hands up. I was like, oh, that's fantastic. That's great. Yeah. Oh, man. Yep. That's um, really funny, actually. <laughs> you didn't watch SmackDown, no. but it was a good show. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's been the case. Yeah. A um, few things they did differently. We finally had a contract signing, not in the middle of the ring. Yeah, where it makes no sense yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. It was uh, it was nice to see, because like obviously the reason they do that stuff is because they want people in the ring. Because you don't really want to go to a live show where you're watching a TV screen. Yeah. It makes sense, but a lot of the times the in ring stuff doesn't no, and they really have to set it up and I don't know. so it, it 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 makes more sense. They should be shorter. And in the back. Right. Yeah, and this was pretty short yeah. for what it was. Because sometimes they'll like wet, last way too long. Mm-hmm. And so if it's short and to the point, you can still have conflict. Just don't have long speeches in bet- or like at the beginning. Right. So it, it's, it's Yeah, good. no, no, no. It was like I said, it was kept short and sweet. They did it right. And uh, good job, SmackDown. Yeah. Um. So remember a while back, the... Basically, mirror image that SmackDown copied Raw with the whole um, Absolution and Riot Squad. Mm-hmm. I would assume that they thought high, very highly of Sonya and Mandy to put her put them with Paige. Um, well, the fact that Sonya spent six months on NXT Yeah, she was TV. in NXT for a while. No, I mean just on TV. Like, oh, she was okay. probably at the Performance Center since Tough Enough. Yeah. Same thing with Mandy Rose. She was never, never on, on TV. Never on TV, yeah. Or she was maybe on one mm-hmm. one or two televised events. Obviously, if you're not going to be on NXT TV, but you're on the main roster, there's something there. Right. It's just you're not going to know about it. That's they true. wanted to keep the... Yeah, because Liv was there forever. Yes. Liv was there for a long time. Ruby she spent a good amount of yeah, time. Yeah, but she was in a lot of stuff. Yes. So that wasn't... So, But that, that was them like trying to get a gauge mm-hmm. like see how the crowd reacts react and, and everything things like that whereas they felt more comfortable with the other two right um and then same thing with sarah logan but i think they felt she was ready, ready for yeah. the main roster mm-hmm. so her nxt was mostly just to be part of the may young classic right and yeah that yeah, didn't she happen she very well could have just shown up like bobby lashley did mm. out of kind of could have yeah I'm i guess that's saying. fair like uh, the, the only reason why she was in NXT mm-hmm. technically, period. Yeah, but I mean, we just get the feeling that they feel like they have something with both of them. With the way they've been booking them on SmackDown, they've been say, giving them a good amount of TV time. Yeah. Mandy put on a decent match with Asuka last week. Mm-hmm. This week, you know, it was a handicap match, Mandy and Sonya versus Asuka. But, uh, I mean, Sonya had a nice back and forth with Asuka. It just seemed like there's definitely something there. And Yeah, you're definitely not wrong, because the two of them have... When they were with Paige, it felt less like it, well because they were just riding on yeah, Paige's coattails. Exactly, they, that was, was that was say, it. There, they, they felt less, uh, I guess, less comfortable. Mm-hmm. Maybe or seemed like they felt less comfortable. But now they are on their own, mm-hmm. which is good for them because yeah. obviously they're going to shine if they're not overshadowed by somebody. Yep, absolutely. And the the fact that Paige was still going out with them, besides b- despite the fact that she couldn't wrestle. Mm-hmm. That kind of hurt too because everyone's like, well, she's not, they're not Paige. Right. So yeah. now that they're separated, mm-hmm. it's better for the two of them. They can keep and them 
somewhat together and still. Yeah, and you have Paige becoming an author authority figure, and there's kind of you know history between all of them, mm -hmm. so it, it works. Yeah, it works. I agree. Um, a lot of good things for the Iconics, even though they haven't been on TV. I guess their merch sales have been really good. Yeah. So okay. which is funny because I don't really care for the stuff that, but. But the nice thing that they have with this foreign heel mm -hmm. is that the foreigners are from a very uh, pro, uh, a very active <clears throat> community mm -hmm. with like Australians. Oh and yeah, stuff. yeah, absolutely. They love buying stuff mm -hmm. and all the, like the yeah. internet stuff, so that definitely helps. But yeah, I mean, SmackDown's putting on quality shows, not using their entire roster mm -hmm. too. I mean, we have Randy Orton; he's hurt. I was going to say surgery, whatever. Yes. Because um, I think there was rumors that Jeff got hurt, but it was mm -hmm. actually Orton. Right. Hardy wasn't there. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't seen him, what, two weeks? Was he there last week? Uh, I think so, but I don't remember. Yeah. All right. Well, regardless. Oh, well, because I, yeah, I missed part of last week's show, mm -hmm. so I probably can't speak All right. to that. The Iconics mm -hmm. weren't there. Seamus and Cesaro weren't there. Yeah. Um, Which is good, because you yeah. don't want to put people on right. that don't have anything mm -hmm. to do. It's true. Um, that's why we haven't seen Sanity yet. Yes, they showed up at a house show. Yeah, but I'm In losing saying. efforts to, I think, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallus. Wow. But you have to build them up there. Yeah, they need to seem formidable. And yeah. Considering that the two of them spent the large majority of their time in the WWE losing, mm -hmm. um, it's really... You, you, you got a long way to go in a short amount of time. Oh, yeah. Um, speaking of, we might as well jump into that real quick. Carl Anderson getting a victory? Yeah, I... Over that, Luke Harper? That is <laughs> mind-boggling. It was just a roll-up. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is, Carl Anderson's a really good wrestler. But it's just, they, they I guess they wanted, they wanted the club to be one of those formidable seeming heels. I guess. So when... Is your phone buzzing? It is. I don't know why. That's weird. Oh, it's just, I've been hitting stuff. <laughs> just typing stuff down Yeah, uh, like, apparently that's what I was buzzing? doing. Yeah. That was weird. Whatever. Calling those sex hotlines. Well, I'm just glad I didn't actually, um, like, call 911 or something. That would have been bad. Yeah. I think I'm holding you hostage in my basement. That's fair. But the good thing <laughs> the good thing is at least at least we have beer. And that's really all that that's matters. That's true. So. Um, so, yeah, Carl Anderson with a win. Good for him. Yeah. Because, uh, let, let's be honest, this match came out of nowhere. Them becoming oh, all mean, of a sudden yeah. number one contenders. You're like, what the hell? Well, you needed to. Well, they they're gonna keep the new day versus uh, Sheamus and Cesaro for a while. Mm -hmm. um, well, that'll be right after Money in the Bank, and yeah. that was nice that they built that up and mm -hmm. kind of just pushed it off to the side, and then we can come back to it. That's what they're supposed to do with these. That and the fact that they were able to use them in in like uh, with the Miz as well. They had that six yep. man tag mm -hmm. match last week. Um, which is, you know, it, it's nice. They're intertwining things. Right. Um, we spoke about this, like, Raw does it, but they don't do as good of a job. Mm -hmm. But we spoke about this at some point, I'm sure. Whereas in the Attitude Era, basically, like, there was only, like, there was a bunch of storylines going on, but a lot of the times they intertwined. Yeah. Like in 97, when Stone Cold was feuding with um, the Hart Foundation, mm -hmm. it was, okay, now the Hart Foundation's feuding with... Uh, like whatever tag team mm -hmm. I, I can't remember is the legion of doom i, I was think thinking that, was, that but I, I wasn't sure if that was that because yeah, I, I know there's a lot of points like on a raw it'll be like a tag match between the legion of doom and the mm -hmm. heart foundation then all of a sudden Austin austin's coming. running down to the ring yeah. beating up owen hart mm -hmm. or bret hart or whoever it was and it, it, it intertwines it lets that but right. they're trying to continue doing something like that mm -hmm. here where it doesn't feel like or with raw it's like okay this person, Roman, is has a match against Owens. Mm -hmm. So that I means Ginger's going to get involved. Yeah, it's more forced. It's not yeah. like it, like it organically happens. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that's the over-scripting of WWE. Yeah, and it happens every time. Mm -hmm. Whereas it used to happen sometimes. Right. Where like now you like you know when interference is going to happen. Well, everything um, is too predictable. The fact that um, Sasha and Ember were getting destroyed... Meant obviously Bailey's coming gonna, down. Right. Yeah, well, absolutely. It's just what what, what she, she does. Do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's um, like, did they really have her just tag in. Yep, yeah. they did. Mm -hmm. That was very surprising. Mm -hmm. But that's that's the thing, though. Yeah. It, it, 
it's predictable. It's true. Which and makes it a little harder it, to well, get it, by. Well, it kind of disconnects you from the product. It's yeah. like you're kind of insulting my intelligence. You want me to spend all this time every week. You want me to purchase your, you know. Stuff. stuff. Exactly. And she's like, I don't want to watch this crap. Like, I, to be completely honest, I mean, I enjoy watching wrestling on Thursday night more than I do on Monday and Tuesday most times when I watch Impact. Yeah, well, it's it's different. It I is. Be, well, that. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Things kind of flow. It's just not like my intelligence isn't being, you know, insulted every week. It's like, okay, you made that decision. Yeah, that made sense. Mm-hmm. Not really. You guys just did that crap. Y- yeah. There's a lot of uh, really? head scratchers. Why is that man dressed up as a woman? Huh? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Vince McMahon has a very strange uh, sense oh, yeah. of humor. Um, what do we have? Uh, Andrade versus Sin Cara for next week is set up. That's uh, that's our thing. That's our go-to. I mean, they have history together, so that's fair for this feud. Yeah, but, but uh, it's not not like relevant WWE history. No. but Although, that's right, because it was last week of the week before mm-hmm. they had that backstage yes. segment. Yeah. And this week, you know, oh, you've changed. And then they made the reference that Selena is the reason he changed who he was. Well, obviously, yeah. we knew yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I would say pretty much the, uh, the the biggest match on SmackDown was Becky versus Charlotte. Oh, yeah. Um, they, we don't obviously see this very often because it's face versus face. Yeah. Um, I mean, they had, they had a match, what, maybe six months, a year ago? Not even, no, probably not a year ago. Yeah, it probably wasn't a year ago. Yeah. It wasn't too long ago on SmackDown. Was it for anything? No. No, it was just a, a regular match. And I'm pretty sure Becky won that one as well. I think this was when Natty had the title. Probably. Yeah. Maybe it was like a number one contenders match. Yeah, I don't that, remember. That might, no, then Becky couldn't have won. Because I was going to say maybe that's how uh, Charlotte got one of her title shots. Yeah, no. Um, or maybe Charlotte did win now that I think back. I, it doesn't matter. Regardless, yeah. Becky won this match. They mm-hmm. put on a good show. Um, it was just sad that we're not going to get anything out of the two of them like you know i'd like a long-term feud between oh it'll happen eventually yeah, i would assume so the, the women's division while it is expanding they still they know what they have in the four of them mm-hmm. so it'll all end up coming full circle hopefully eventually. it feels like we have this nice shiny new toy so we're gonna dangle it in front of you that that'll lose its f- flair eventually uh, no, no pun, pun intended. intended yeah check is um because there's only so much novelty in uh, in in Ronda Rousey. Mm. It's the same thing as Brock Lesnar. That's what it's going to end up being. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. absolutely. Mm-hmm. So she might be on TV more often, but and it'll be the same premise. The thing is, is that it's Brock Lesnar now. It's not Brock Lesnar back in 2002. Oh, yes, 2002. Where we got Brock those Lesnar. years of Brock Lesnar where he was doing everything from comedy to mm-hmm. with Kurt Angle to, you know... Brock Lesnar, in his initial WWE run, had the potential to be what John Cena ended up being. Um, That's fair. Obviously wasn't a great talker. No. But you but didn't you, need to no. be. And, you had the mouthpiece for him. Yeah. You had one of the best mm-hmm. men for that job. Um, so even if they didn't want to keep Heyman long term, which ended up obviously not happening. Or yeah. He, he ended up sticking around anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, that... What he would have been fine because he didn't really need to talk that much, right? Because he was big and he was scary. Mm-hmm. So a big sweaty man. Yeah, and even if they wanted to make him a face, just put him up against somebody who can talk, right? And because the baby face doesn't need to be able to do that. Mm-mm, that's Not what the really, heels are for. Yeah, They're exactly. supposed to make the baby face look good. That's the point. That's... Yeah, and then when he's the heel, he mm-hmm. just destroys everybody. Yep. So yeah, uh, you know, I mean. We said this two weeks ago that, well, I don't think we said it on camera, but we said that, you know, these were kind of going to be throwaway these two weeks. Yes. So mm-hmm. they pretty much were. Yep. And next week won't be any better. Nope. But, um, but yeah, I think that's all. Well, uh, well, I guess, well, we didn't mention the, the stupid mixed egg match and now it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah, so it happened. Yeah. That so. Carmella had a, a, thing where she's making fun of oscar that's it mm-hmm. so but yeah, yeah there was... But that was an opening segment that led to the two-on-one match it yeah. wasn't necessary yeah um but yeah, yeah. smackdown good raw bad that's basically. pretty much it yeah uh-huh. uh, you know maybe we should put out like a, a recap video with that's just like that clip <laughs> it's five like second it. long or or it's like a 10 minute long video where what happens is we play our intro that do that and then, and then it's, it's just 10 minutes i of like it just 
like uh, just black. I like it. So <laughs> that is all for this week. Yes. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.